I realize this video is quite long, so if you don't want to watch the full length of the video, um, I'm going to go over some of the specs right off the top before the video even starts. So this is a review of the Acton Blink Board. It's an electric skateboard made by Acton, um, driven by a hub motor, which is right here in this back wheel. Instead of having a belt system, they just have the motor inside the wheel. Um, the skateboard goes for around 500 US dollars. The range is around 4 miles, and the top speed is around 16 miles per hour. Um, it's a pretty sturdy board. I've had mine for a week now, and um, I'm absolutely loving it. Um, for 500 bucks, it's pretty hard to beat. You know, it's not as... Um, it's not as... The quality isn't as good as some of the, you know, bigger, more expensive boards, but for 500 bucks, um, it certainly lives up to expectations. Here's the board. About the size of a standard skateboard. And here's the controller. Forward, reverse, and it's got a, um, well not forward, reverse, go, stop, and it's got a forward and backward. So, with all that in mind, let's get to the full length video. Generation 2 Acton Blink Board with hub motor. and um, today I'm going to be checking out Acton's new Blink board. Now these were just released not too long ago. It's a generation 2 um, electric skateboard made by Acton. I've had the first generation uh, Acton Blink board for a while and I absolutely love it. It's fantastic. I use it pretty much every day and um, Acton just came out with a generation 2. So instead of having a belt driven motor on the air on their um, first generation electric skateboard. They have a new system where they have the motor actually inside one of the rear wheels. And Acton sent me one to review. Um, so this video is going to be first, an unboxing. Second, um, I'm going to um, take the specs that they've given me and I'm gonna test all of them. So I'm gonna see if the top speed that they actually say is actually true to the board and vice versa. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just give you my general thoughts on the pros and cons of it, how it compares to the first one, and um, why or why you should not buy one. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so let's just hop right in, shall we? Um, I don't have a knife with, so I just got keys here. Let's open this bad boy up and see what we've got. <clears throat> Alright, so inside this gray box, we've got the actual blink board box. Alright, so, the new blink board. Here's what the box looks like. Pretty standard. Um, it actually looks very similar to the first box. Um, looking at the front of the skateboard here, um, right off the bat I notice these wheels are different. It looks like they've got text on the wheels. Um, but everything else looks pretty much the same. I've done a little bit of research on this. Um, it looks like the motor is new, the controller is new. Um, I guess the battery is supposed to last longer, it's supposed to go faster. I've read that while well, braking it actually um, charges the battery. Um, and it's just supposed to be an all around better skateboard. So well, let's just open this up and see what we've got. styrofoam pieces um, put together by this velcro strap. Well, I guess not velcro, but it's just a strap here. This is the, I think the same exact um, thing they had um, for the first one. So let's see if this is much different. Alright, let's flip it over here. Alright, let's back in here. 
Here we go. All right. First aerofoam piece comes off. We have the board itself. Looks like we got owner manual. Um, two coupons, it looks like. $20 off. Huh, okay. So we've got two coupons here. So if someone else wants to buy a board, here's a coupon for 20 bucks off, I guess. Kind of cool. Um, owner's manual. Uh, sheet to show off the app. Don't, that, don't care about that. And the board itself. <clears throat> Looks like we've got a little warning label on it here. On the back, blah, just a warning, can cause injury, be careful. Yeah, right, let's take this off. All right, the board actually looks pretty much the same as the very first one. I don't see any differences here yet. Um, let's take this out here. Yeah, okay. Looks like the, uh, Wood is about the same, the design looks about the same, these trucks look different. Um, the wheels look, are they bigger? I don't know, can't tell. Wheels look nice. Um, yeah, it looks about the same. Looks like they've got some padding in between the battery and the actual board itself. That could, that could be kind of nice, maybe it can help, it pro help protect it. Um, the first thing that jumps out at me is this rear truck and the rear wheels. Um, it's a very different design from the first generation board. Looks like the whole motor here is on this one back wheel. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. And it looks like they've just got one wire going from the wheel to the battery, which is, looks very good, nice and clean. Very cool. All right. Sweet, yeah. Seems like it's about the same weight. Everything looks really nice on it. Let's just put this aside for now. What else we got here? All right, um, cord for the charging pack, I think. We've got a charging block here, pretty standard. Um, got a tool for the wheels, pink. Okay, pink, whatever, I guess, not sexist. Um, yeah, and then also a pouch here. This contains the controller, I bet. Let's open this up. This pouch is a little different than the um, Generation 1. Let's take this out. Oh. And it looks like it comes with AAA batteries for the controller. The controller itself is a lot different. Um, the other one on the Generation 1 blink board felt very flimsy and small and cheap. This one feels a lot more sturdy. Um, on the controller we've got a forward and reverse switch on the side, go, stop, and then on and off here. Um, yeah, the strap is a little different. Fits my small wrists. Actually, I'd probably use the right one. Or the left, I should say. Cool, good enough. All right, looks like that's all we've got in the box. So, skateboard itself, manuals and stuff, charging block, tool, pink tool. Um, I had to use this a couple times when I was replacing the belts on my um, first generation, so very essential tool, and the controller. That's about it though, it's all that comes in the box. Alright, now that I've got everything unboxed here, I'm going to plug the board in and start charging it. Um, while the board is charging, I'm going to talk about some of the specs that it has and how they're either better or worse. Um, compared to the uh, Generation 1 Blink board. So, this in here. Uh, to charge it, I'm just gonna undo this guy here. This cord. Plug this into here. This cord into the block. And then the charging um, port here plugs directly into the battery on the side opposite of the driving wheel. So driving wheel, other wheel, and here's the port to plug it in. This just flip, flips open, plugs in right here, um, and then I'll plug this into the wall. So I'll plug this into the wall first.
when plugged in and charging, this light right here will go from green to red. And when it's done charging, it'll go from red to green. So once that turns green, the board will be all charged up and ready to go. All right. So while the board is charging, um, I'm gonna go over some of these specs here. Um, I'll throw them up here in the video so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I've got all the specs pulled up on my computer over here. Um, the actual company sent me an email with all the specs on it, so I'm gonna read them right off here. Um, so this is what the company says. Um, after this segment here, I'm gonna go out and actually test every single, well, maybe not every single one of them, but a good amount of these are the important ones to see if they actually um, are correct. So the, um, this website here, or this email they sent me, says the max speed of it is 15 and a half miles per hour. Um, I don't know what that is in kilometers, but I'll figure that out and put it up there. Um, I was looking at some other reviews before I started making this one, and a couple of people were saying that it's a lot faster than the original Blink board, um, and I'm actually really excited about that. In my previous video, I said that the top speed on the Generation 1 wasn't fast enough for myself. Some people thought it was too fast. Um, I didn't think it was fast enough, so if that is correct, I'm very excited. I'm going to check it out right after it's done charging here. Hopefully it is faster, because if it is, I'm very excited. But on this email, it says the max speed is 15.5 15 mile, 15 miles per hour. I think the first generation said it was 15 miles per hour, so I think they're saying this is a half a mile per hour faster. Um, we'll see. Um, it says it weighs 9.9 .9 pounds. I can't really tell from holding it how heavy it is. That seems pretty close. Um, I don't know how heavy they said the previous one was. I'll check it out, throw it up here. Um, the range, it says is 6.5 miles. I don't know what that is in kilometers. I'll throw that up there. Um, 6.5 miles is pretty good for a skateboard this small. Um, I don't remember what the last generation said the top sp or the um, range was. And I found out from reviewing the first one that the range was a lot less than what they said. Um, but I had mine full speed all the time. Um, so I'm sure that you know, if you're going maybe halfway between, you know, at a full stop and the top speed, maybe you can squeeze 6.5 miles out of it. But it probably depends on the weight of the rider, um, the conditions you're riding in, stuff like that. And I've also heard that this new one actually recharges the battery when you slow down or when the brakes are used. And if you're going like downhill, it'll sometimes like shut the motor off or help charge the battery if you're going downhill and there's some resistance. And if the battery does die, um, you can push it by foot to recharge the battery. Um, so I'm gonna check all that out in a different segment here. But if that's all true, I'm really excited. Um, it should be awesome. But with all, you know, with all those in mind, you probably could squeeze six and a half miles out of it. So we'll see. Um, it says the weight limit is about 220 pounds. I'm about 150, so not a problem there. Um, it says the drive system is a hub motor, which is correct. You know, the generation one had a belt driven motor. And um, while the first generation board was great, um, I actually busted a few of the belts. I think I'm on my third or fourth belt right now in the first generation. Um, and I probably ride a little more aggressively than the standard person. So that was kind of a pain. Um, I had a few belts sent to me from Acton. Um, so it wasn't a huge deal. I just took the wheel off, threw a new belt on, threw it on or threw the wheel back on, good to, you know, good to go again. Super easy. I have a video of me taking the wheel apart and putting a new belt on the first generation. If you have a first generation board, you want to know how that works, you can check out the new video. I'll put it in the description. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping that with this hub motor design, which I don't really know how it works, um, but I guess I'll figure it out. Um, Hopefully with a hub motor, you won't have to buy um, belts anymore, which is great. But I'm kind of, you know, concerned. I don't know if that's going to make it a lot more expensive if the motor goes out on this. Do I have to buy a whole new wheel with the motor in it? Um, so I guess we'll see. Um, hopefully, you know, this lasts longer. But who knows? We'll, we'll, we'll test it. Um, it says on here, um, like drivetrain, right under it says reverse, and it says yes, which is awesome. The first generation board did not have reverse. Um, they said it was going to have reverse, but just they got rid of it for some reason. I don't know why. But this one does have reverse, which is sweet. Um, I'm very excited about that. Thank you, Acton. 
I'm excited to check it out and see if it works as good as I hope it does. Um, it says 840 watt motor, or battery I should say, which is cool. I don't really know what the standard is. Um, I think boosted boards, just to give a side-by-side -side comparison, because those are super popular. Um, I think the boosted board has like a 2000 watt motor, and it's a dual drive train. Um, so this is 840, which is like less than half, but this is, you know, less than half price-wise. Um, so, so that's pretty sweet, you know, 840. I don't know like how good that is, but on the first one, I think that was like a 750 watt motor. I'm not sure, I have to look that up. Um, but the first one had plenty of power for me. Um, so if this is more, fantastic. And it says the wheel type, I don't really care. Charge time, it says two hours on here. Um, I found that my first generation only took like an hour to charge, so hopefully this is wrong and it takes like an hour instead of two hours. That'd be pretty cool. Um, lithium ion, 36 volt battery, deck length, 27 inches. Um, yeah, so good enough. I guess that's all the specs that I have here. Um, it says the deck material is made out of Canadian maple. Why didn't I know that? Cool. I don't know if that's good or bad, but sweet, I guess. So those are, those are the specs. Um, I hope that all made sense, and I referred a lot to the first generation. Um, and I think what I'm kind of figuring out here is it's pretty much the same as the first, but just uh, improved on. Um, there's nothing too crazy new about this one. Um, so yeah, um, we'll see if it is better indeed. All right, that concludes this um, specs part of the video. So while I wait for that to charge, um, I'm going to put the batteries in this controller here. It takes uh, AAA batteries in the back of this controller. And one thing I wanted to talk about is the controller itself. Um, so you already kind of checked this out when I unboxed it. But um, I don't know if I like the fact that it takes tri AAA batteries rather than like a USB um, charging port on here. Like the, you know, the previous one had no batteries, it just, or no uh, external batteries. It just had an internal battery you charged from like a wall outlet. I like that a lot. Some people were kind of saying it was not good, um, but I don't really like the fact that I have to buy batteries, you know, uh, to put them in the controller. But if they're AAA batteries like this, they probably last a lot longer than a you know in battery um, controller battery. So I guess I probably won't have to worry about it unless I like leave it on or forget about it. But we'll see how that works. And it has the little orange, um, their little orange symbol on it. That's what the app looks like. Throw that on there, open it up, and install. Um, looks like they've got their skates on there. Last time I shot a review of the first one, they changed the app from the time that I was recording to the time of upload. Um, hopefully they don't do that to me here, but once you download it, it's, it's free, so go ahead. And through this app, you can hook your board up through Bluetooth, and then you can check the battery life. Um, you can see how far you've gone, you can change it from like um, beginner, intermediate to pro mode, that just kind of changes the top speed of the board itself. I think you can use this as a controller. Yeah, they've got a little controller icon on here. It's not going to work because I don't have it connected here. No, it's still charging. But you can connect the phone to your board through Bluetooth. And I've heard that the Bluetooth connection is a lot better than the uh, Generation 1, which is cool. You know, I only use it a couple times, but even those couple times I struggled to get it connected. Um, I've heard from a few people that they just could not get it connected to their board. And I've heard that that problem is a lot better now, or it's been improved, which is awesome. You know, good job, Acton, thank you. So I'll connect this to the board once it's fully charged, and um, we'll see how it works. So after about 20 minutes of waiting, this light went from red to green, meaning that this battery is fully charged. Um, the website tells me it takes about two hours to fully charge this, so it must have come with a good amount of charge left in it when they send it to me, which is awesome. Cool. Thank you. I hate waiting. Um, so now what I'm going to do is unplug this guy, throw it on my desk here. Got to grab the controller, throw it here. Um, while waiting, my phone is dying, so I plugged it in. Um, all right. So. This is the first time I've ever turned this thing on, so very exciting stuff. What we're gonna do is actually turn the controller on first. Um, yeah, on off switch. Okay, on. 
the blue light starts blinking, it looks like. Cool. There's no beep. Um, okay, that's new. First one had a beep when it turns on. This one, there's a little button on the other side of the uh, charging panel. Hit that to turn it on. These lights will turn on. Yep, just like the first one. Very cool, very exciting. And now if I hit this up, it should start going. Let's see. Oh, cool. All right, there we go. Up means go. Sweet. All right, so it works. That's good. Um, now what I'm going to do is actually um, hook this up to the app um, because it's probably in beginner mode and it probably only goes six or seven miles per hour and I do not want it to go that fast. I want it to go the full 15.5 miles per hour, it promises. So let me throw this camera on a tripod and I'll connect it to the um, Bluetooth app and see if I can configure the board from there. All right, so I've got the camera on a tripod. Um, that'll make it easier for me to do this. So what I'm first gonna do is close this little port here. Um, and that actually closes quite nicely. I know the first generation. I always struggle, for some reason, I always struggle to get that stupid thing back in there. Um, and there's actually a couple times where I got dirt and grime into here, but that never really affected the board. So, good enough. Just something dumb, I guess. So what I'm first gonna do here is unlock my phone, turn the Bluetooth on, um, open the app, oops, go away, go away, open the actual active app. Um, there's a little, can you even see that? Let me adjust my tripod here. You can even see on the app here, there's a little Bluetooth thing. I'm gonna hit this, um, click to scan, click there, see if it scans, something comes up here. I believe this number that comes up should match the serial number that is on this board itself. On the bottom, can you see that? Eh, probably can't see, it's probably out of focus, but there's a little um, sticker here that shows. Unfortunately, mine kind of came with a streak through it. That's kind of unfortunate, but these numbers right here should match on the app right here. Let's see if they do. Um, it looks like this number matches this number as far as I can see, so I'm gonna click on this to connect it. It says connecting, can you see that? Oh, there's a bad glare. Hold on, let me fix this. There we go. Um, yeah, I guess I'll put that there so you can kind of see. Come on, camera focus. There we go. All right. And then you can see you know, the 100% shows what the battery life is. It should be 100% because I just got done charging it. Um, it shows the current speed. Current mileage, it says 14.9 miles. I don't know what that's... Is that supposed to mean that's how many miles I put on the original? Oh, you can't see it. Is that how many miles I put on the original blink board? Must. Don't know. But it says beginner here on the very bottom. There, now it's in focus. I'm going to click on this. And it says beginner, pro, and normal. Can't see it very well. This is going to be a struggle. Can you see it now? Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a beginning, a normal, and a pro mode. I'm going to hit pro, um, and that should switch it right on here. Look, there it says pro, and now if I bring this up. Now this should go a lot faster. Okay, um, I can't really tell if that's any faster or not. I'm going to listen to the sound here. Pro, beginner. Okay, I don't know, I can't really tell if that's... The app on here says I'm going 18 and a half miles per hour. Oh, now it's just 19. Okay. Okay, so perfect. It looks like, you know, that does the trick. And that's, you know, that's all you really have to do. Um, I think you can click on the status on the app here. Um, Let's turn this. Let's see if I can. Let's go way up here. There we go. I'll zoom all the way in. Focus on that. It's gonna be really hard to see. I apologize. Hopefully, once this gets bigger, you can see it. It looks like you can see. You know, there's a dashboard and then there's a status. Um, first one says battery life 100%. I don't know what this means. A 0.00A. Don't know. Here's my weight. I put 150 pounds on there. That must help the app determine, you know, I really don't know what that would do, but 
I put my weight in there. I have it on pro mode. Um, there's a little Bluetooth thing, and here's a little button here. Um, it looks like a little controller icon. You cannot see that. But it says, do you want to reset the remote controller? Oh, um, I'm wondering if you can have the board send a signal out to try and connect to another controller. Say you get a new one or you lose this one, you can probably buy a new one. I'm not gonna do that because this works. I think that's how that works. I thought you could use the controller or the app as a controller just in case you lose this, but maybe not, unless I'm not looking hard enough. Is there a controller? Maybe not. I'm not seeing one anywhere. Um, but, you know, whatever. Um, so the app works, I threw it in pro mode, and I think I'm ready to go. So, I'm gonna go ride this thing for a while. Um, I've never even ridden it yet, so, you know, I just unboxed it here. So, I'm gonna go ride it for a while, and then after a while I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it and compare it to the original Blake board. So, thanks for watching this segment, I'll see you in the next one. So, the manual says the board can go around 15 and a half miles per hour. Um, I found that the board is capable of going that and even faster. Um, after having it for about a week and riding it just every single day, I found that the speed really depends on um, the riding conditions and the um, surface of like the road you're riding on. I've been able to squeeze out like 20 miles per hour on this board. Um, I know some people may say that's too fast, but I think that's pretty good. Um, but in order to get that 15 mile per hour speed, you know, I was riding on really smooth roads, you know, some of them were even like downhill a little bit, and the wind was at my back, kind of pushing me forward. Um, I've also ridden this in the exact opposite of conditions. Earlier I was riding it, you know, on a rough terrain, probably uphill, and with the wind coming at me, and the, it was struggling to get up to like 10 miles per hour. Um, so, the, what the box says... Um, at 15 and a half miles per hour, I say that's pretty close to what I'm actually getting on it. So when the box says 15 and a half, I'm, you know, that's pretty close. I am able to get about 15 and a half up to 16 miles per hour on just a flat surface with no wind. And I'm about 150 pounds. Depending on your weight, you know, you're able, probably able to go even faster or slower. Um, if you're heavier, you know, slower, lighter, faster. Um, as far as range goes, the box tells me six miles. Um, I don't think that's true at all. Um, I'm able to get about four if I'm lucky. Usually it's about three and a half, so about, you know, almost half of what the box says. Now, I'm riding at full speed all the time. Um, so, you know, if you're riding, like, halfway between maxed out and fully stopped, you can probably squeeze six miles out of it. But for me, I'm always riding at full speed, so the board probably, or the battery probably just can't handle it as well. Um, so about four miles is what I can get, you know, if you don't want to ride the full 15 miles per hour all the time You probably can squeeze six miles out of this But as far as I'm concerned four miles maybe even three is about all I can get with this one So keep that in mind, you know, if you can get six miles tell me because I can't After having the generation 2 blink board for about a week and riding it every day um, Here are my thoughts on it. So first off. I think the board is great, you know, for 500 bucks, it's really hard to beat. You know, in order to get anything close to this, you're probably going to have to spend a little more. But for 500, this board is fantastic. Um, the range is about hmm, four miles, three and a half to four miles, which isn't like the full six that it promises. But for what I use it for, that's just fine. As far as the speed goes, um, the box is telling me about 15 and a half miles per hour. I'm getting you know anywhere between 15 and like 20. Um, so I think that's great, you know, I wanted something a little faster and they gave me something faster, so I'm happy about that. As far as build quality goes, the first one, or the first generation wasn't that great. Um, I know there's a lot of people complaining about the build quality. This one's a lot better, I think. You know, everything's just a lot more sturdy. Um, it's pretty much just a generation one that's just a lot better in every way. Um, you know, this, the battery is mounted better. Um, these trucks are sturdier. I think this hub motor is better, you know, they've just got one cord here. Um, I think it's just phenomenal. One thing that I don't like is the acceleration on it. 
Um, now what I mean by that is, the Generation 1, when you pressed up on the um, throttle on the controller, it just jumped right into action and you just could fly right off the top. Um, I know some people didn't like that because it had, you know, maybe too much, like, torque, if you will. Um, and I think some people were, like, getting, f like, kicked off the board by how fast it accelerated. I think that was great. Um, I like that a lot. This one, it doesn't accelerate as fast. Um, I, you know, this one's got like a gradual, you know, where you press all the way up and it gradually reaches the top speed, which is fine, I guess. Maybe it's like a safety feature. Um, maybe that's why they changed it. But I don't like it as much as the, um, you know, the Generation 1. That one, I just pressed the throttle up and it just flew right off the top. Um, but I can't complain too much. I mean, it kind of helps, you know, if I'm not like completely ready to take off. This one slowly eases into it. But, you know, I've come to expect a hard takeoff from the first one, and this one just doesn't give me that. So I'm kind of disappointed in that. Um, a lot of people will probably disagree, but that's just my thoughts. Um, but once you get up to the speed, it's just solid. You know, it's smooth, um, and it just, it just goes, so it, which is great. This one is actually a lot more quiet, too. You know, the other one had the belt-driven system, and it was just loud. Um, which, it didn't bother me too much, but this one's just, it's just almost silent compared to that one. So, I don't know, that's, that's great, I guess. Alright, um, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say about this. Fantastic board, I love it. I use it pretty much every day. Now, onto the controller. The controller design, I like more than the old one. I think it's fantastic. I really like how you have a forward and reverse, you know? The previous one didn't have a reverse. Sweet. I've never really used it a whole lot, but um, the option is there to use it, so fantastic. Um, the brakes on this one, I feel, are better. Um, the last generation, when you hit the brakes, it just locked the tires up and it just come to it came to a stop just very abruptly. Um, that's one thing I just come to, you know, I just got used to it on the Generation 1. So this one, the brakes are just a lot more gentle, if you will. Um, it doesn't come to a stop as fast, which I've actually, you know, that's kind of been a problem for me because the other one just stopped super quickly. While this one, the brakes don't work. I don't know if I want to say they don't work as well, but they just, you know, you can stop. The braking is just a lot less abrupt on this one. For some people, and for most people, that'll probably be a good thing. But for me, I was I got used to the abrupt braking, so I came to you know rely on that when slowing down. Well, this one I have to you know start slowing down a lot sooner because the stopping isn't as you know responsive. But you know, it's just something to get used to, I guess. Um, the one thing I don't like about this controller is the fact that it takes triple A batteries. Um, the old one, you just plugged it into a wall outlet, just like you, you know, charge your smartphone or charge, you know, anything else, I guess. Um, this one, it comes with AAA batteries, which I don't know why that got switched. Um, maybe some people were having problems with it. I never had a problem with my old controller or my Generation 1 Blink board um, remote controller, but they switched to AAA batteries on this one. I don't know what the deal is there. Um, I guess I haven't had any problems with it, but I never really had any problems with the last one, so... I don't know. Um, so I don't know if I like that very much. You know, this will die and then I'll have to buy more batteries and I just probably don't have any batteries lying around. I don't know. First world, first world problems, I guess. Um, but that's just my thoughts on it. Overall, it's a fantastic board. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. Written it every day for the past week. Um, and yeah, it's just a major step up from that Generation 1. That's all I can say about it. It's pretty much the same board, but but just better in every single way. All right, those are my thoughts. That concludes the review, unboxing, in-depth review, um, everything else. Thanks for tuning in for these long 20, I don't know, however many minutes. I know the video got quite long. I apologize, and I thank you for watching the video. Um, hopefully, the super long video um, can help you determine whether you should buy one or not. Um, all right, leave any questions down below and I'll try and answer them or someone else will answer them, hopefully. Um, all right, thank you.